All right, let's go and simplify this one. So let's go and factor out our two denominators just so we can see what's common and what's uncommon. Now this is not going to affect the numerator, so I still have an x plus 2. And then I got a minus an x over some, something. And in red here, we'll do that x squared minus 36 in red. Those are two perfect squares, and it's a difference, so I got an x minus 6 and an x plus 6. Uh, x squared plus 9x plus 18, I'm going to do that in purple, so x squared. So I just need two factors of 18 that will add up to 9. Looks like it's going to be 3 and 6. So that's going to factor out into x plus 3 and x plus 6. So on the left there, we're missing an x plus 3. So I'll multiply it by the numerator as well. And on the right, we're missing an x minus 6. So I have to multiply it by the numerator and denominator. All right. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. We have the common denominator, which we want. It just has uh, three binomials there. x plus 3, x minus 6, and x plus 6. In the numerator, I've got that x plus 3 times x plus 2, and I'm going to subtract this from x times x minus 6. Now some of you may choose to rewrite it like this or uh, multiply the two factors of the numerators right there. I'm just showing this extra step. Hopefully it's, it's helpful. All right, so let's go ahead and multiply these. I'll stay with the same colors. I've got x squared plus 2x, then I've got plus 3x, and plus 6, minus, that would be x squared, and that would be plus 6, all over our numerator. We do need the 6x. Thank you. So at this point, we're looking to combine like terms. I got an x squared and a minus x squared, meaning these cancel. I've got a 2x plus 3x plus 6x, which would be 11x. And this plus 6 doesn't have anything to combine with, so I've got a plus 6 all over our denominator. Looking at this one, it does not look like I can factor anything out from that numerator. So that's our function right there. That's about as simplified as it gets. Now, I will warn you guys on the homework, I would expect something to factor out, meaning that 11x plus 6 probably should be factorable.